Here in downtown West Palm Beach, right next to the Brightline station, you can see the debris left over and signs of a fire from early this morning. It took hours of cleanup and there was blocked traffic and we're learning this whole thing could have been much worse. It was around 3.30 Friday morning. This street camera video from Banyan Boulevard shows a car turning onto the train tracks. It's hard to see, but a person is later seen running from the tracks. Moments later, police say a freight train slammed into that unoccupied car southbound, pushing it toward the Brightline station and starting a fire. Police say the man they believe ran from the car later ran back onto the tracks and was arrested for trespassing. It took hours to get the car removed, the area cleaned up and reopened. Police credit the train operators and firefighters for preventing a bigger emergency when they realized a train car near the fire could be hazardous. This certainly had the potential to be a recipe for disaster, but due to the quick actions of the engineers on the train by getting that train car that contained the compressed natural gas away from the fire, away from that hazard, certainly played a role coupled with the quick and very uh, tactically solid response by the West Palm Beach Fire Department's hazardous materials team. And this is still a very active investigation. Police say the man they took into custody does match the description of that car's driver, and they do expect more charges will be filed against him. Reporting in downtown West Palm Beach, Stephanie Suskind, WPTV News Channel 5.